millions of birds arrive to collect a share of the herring's bounty. Some of it is easily gathered, for millions of eggs have been washed up onto the shore. This encapsulated energy is particularly valuable to migrating birds. These surf birds are on their way to their breeding grounds in the Arctic, and they had to come down to refuel. Stranded herring eggs are just what they need. Bonaparte gulls collect the eggs just below the surface of the water. Farther out in the bay, huge flocks of ducks have gathered. They're mostly surf scoters, diving ducks, that can feed off the bottom several meters down. There are such huge quantities of eggs that even such a big animal as a bear finds it worthwhile to collect them. The spawning of the herring is a crucial event in the lives of many animals all along the coast. The whole event coincides with the plankton bloom, and within just three short weeks, it's all over. The migratory birds leave to continue their journey north. They will not come back until the herring also return next year. As the herring spawning finishes, other migrants are starting to arrive just offshore. Grey whales. They have followed the sun north and they too are seeking the food that is generated by the bloom of the phytoplankton. Krill are feeding off it, and these whales are feeding on the krill, skimming it from the surface with the filter plates of baleen that hang from their upper jaws. Grey whales make one of the longest migrations undertaken by any marine mammal, a round trip of 12,000 miles or so from their breeding grounds off Mexico along the entire coast of North America, right up to the Arctic Ocean. They travel close to the coast, with the males and non-breeding females leading the way. The last to start are the cows that have just given birth. They have to wait until their newborn calves are sufficiently big and strong to tackle such an immense journey. Their progress is necessarily slow. The mothers must stay alongside their young, and even a strong calf can only travel at a couple of knots. They stick even closer to the shore, often within just 200 meters. <laughs> 